my God. I have to say, it makes me want to cry. I do have memories of pre-NHS times because I think I was about seven when it came into being. Now, we were a one-parent family, my mother and I, and we didn't have a lot of money. Of course, I didn't understand. All I knew was the excitement that this meant that we could call a doctor or see a doctor and we didn't have to worry about having enough money. And even at that age, I recognised the impact on my mother as it being whatever it was, it was something wonderful. I was quite a well child. I mean, I got the obvious things like sort of childhood, you know, measles and chicken pox. Uh, but quite soon after the NHS came in, I got scarlet fever, um, which, which then was, was not a nice thing to have. Um, and um, my it obviously wasn't measles, I'd had that, it wasn't chicken pox. And so my mother was able to call a doctor knowing that it was free and he came and diagnosed scarlet fever and told her what to do and what not to do. And that was a huge relief to my mother because, you know, getting ill was a, was a, a great fear. And of course, as I grew up, you know, I got to realize more and more and more how exceptionally lucky we were that Bevan brought it in and that it had come into being. I mean, extraordinary. But one mustn't become maudlin because, you know, it's, it is still alive. We need to remember it is still alive. The patient is alive and the patient actually, you know, with a little tender care can actually be brought back to full life.